we can move on to our next, our last session of before the closing session for the day. So thank you for bearing with us, Victoria. Um, last, but as they say, by no means least, it's um, another in our series of the best practices sharing sessions and the, the turn of Ecclesi Laurent University in Budapest. And um, I welcome back Victoria, who you met earlier today. And just to remind you, Victoria Mudra is a sustainability coordinator for Ethos Laurent um, and she's also program manager, sustainability program manager um, within the Together for the Environmentally Conscious Approach program, which sounds fascinating and I'm sure we're going to hear more about it now, Victoria, as you see this through um, the example of best practices from um, ELTA. Thank you. Thank you and uh, good afternoon to everyone. Yes, perfect. Thank you. All right. All right. So um, thank you again for your attention. Uh, I uh, will talk about sustainability in practice at Ötvös Lorán Tudomány Egyetem. Uh, here on the first page, you can see three logos. One of Unieco, you know very well. The second is the logo, the new logo of uh, Ötvös Lorán University. And the third is uh, ELTA Together for Environmental Consciousness, so the program I will talk about. So just to, to explain a bit that uh, we are, um, we are uh, an independent but uh, university uh, close uh, organization. So uh, let me talk about uh, ELTA. It was established in 1635. Uh, this is one of the oldest uh, universities uh, in uh, Hungary. And as you can see, the photos, not all of them I uh, have put, but it's, it's a huge uh, complex. In fact, uh, we have nine faculties, 52 undergraduate uh, degrees, 112 master's degree program. There are 10 public uh, uh, educational institutions, which is very important because uh, uh, there are kindergartens or secondary schools too, and four secondary schools and 14 dormitories. Uh, dormitory system is, is a very important tool uh, in Hungary to help uh, uh, not so rich uh, students. And uh, here you can see also uh, sports fields and Puvieskert, uh, uh, which is a, a herb garden. This is the last photo. Uh, uh, that is very, very famous and uh, uh, well known in Hungary. Uh, so uh, we are here to learn about university and sustainability, how to cope uh, these themes, what can we do? In uh, 2015, uh, 17 uh, sustainable development goals were set up, but uh, we are still looking for uh, the ways how to apply uh, uh, at universities these SDGs. Uh, fortunately, um, uh, we have some tools already in, in hand by uh, ISCN, uh, International Sustainable Compass Network, and also uh, there are rankings, uh, 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 for example, in Indonesia, that uh, measures uh, sustainability at uh, universities. Uh, here, I will uh, present you a mode of operation. So uh, our name is Together for Environmental Consciousness. And uh, what the, uh, are the more, most uh, important uh, uh, things about uh, this program is that um, we work since uh, 2008. So it's a huge, uh, uh, experience that we have already. It's an initiative uh, with cooperation with the university and its units. Uh, very important uh, information that it's an NGO uh, driven by uh, sustainability. Uh, no, no uh, sorry. So it's an uh, NGO driven sustainability and sparing program. Or if you can uh, call it, uh, it's a brand, kind of a brand. Uh, the chief patron is the rector and the councillor of ETA, but the organization is independent financially and operationally. And that is a very uh, important uh, point if you 
uh, would like to do, do the same or, or similar uh, uh, initiatives um, because it's also uh, an opportunity, but also threatening uh, in, in the projects. Uh, our program is driven by uh, sustainable development initiatives and we keep a very low uh, uh, hierarchy in the program uh, because uh, it's not personal, but the sustainable development is uh, what we are driven by. Um, here I uh, made um, a PPT. Uh, as I mentioned, um, there is a, a kind of a policy by ISCN how a university uh, should work or in what fields uh, we can apply sustainable development. So for example, formal education, innovation and research, community management and operational system. Uh, what I will uh, present you as a grassroots initiative uh, managed to um, make an impact partly on uh, uh, education in informal education ways and uh, partly uh, innovation within its own framework. So there are uh, researches at the university, huge researches uh, on the sustainable development uh, uh, area. But of course, uh, what we, we can do by our uh, grassroots initiatives can not uh, have a lot, a lot of impact uh, uh, with, with them. Uh, but there are three uh, areas where we can say that uh, even if it's a grassroots initiative, uh, you can have a lot of results. So for example, uh, on community, we can create environment environmentally conscious uh, micro communities. On management uh, area, uh, we can help uh, the management with uh, policies and it is uh, in progress and uh, uh, some of the uh, SDG policies are already done. And uh, operational system, uh, fields of operation can be uh, the main area where you can work with grassroots initiatives. So uh, sustainability by who? Um, so the first is the official or institutional way by formal education. Uh, uh, I have to say that uh, 5,700 uh, 5, uh, subjects are related to sustainability on 27,000 uh, subjects at ELTA. Uh, so this and the researches, the sustainable uh, development researches make the university one of the best in Hungary. And uh, the second way is the grassroots initiative. Sustainability volunteers organized in sustainability working groups led by an NGO. Who can come to our NGO, to our program? Uh, most important uh, are uni students because they have more time, uh, because they are very, very interested and they want to do something uh, for uh, sustainability. But we are open to uh, university staff uh, also uh, because uh, they, they have some special fields where they work uh, and uh, maybe they have uh, some little time to add uh, to our uh, volunteering program. And of course, uh, in Hungary, uh, volunteering is so important that uh, uh, students under 18 have to do uh, uh, 15, 50 hours of community work and we are open uh, to them uh, largely. Unfortunately, uh, uh, we only have um, 10 or 15 uh, uh, students uh, per year, but next year we would like to uh, do a, a campaign to invite more under uh, age uh, students. Of course, they can do only part uh, uh, of the work where it is very safe. Uh, why? Why do we do by volunteering? Uh, by volunteering, you can reach an extremely strong commitment. 
uh, I can say that we have some uh, volunteers who have been working for eight years, and it's not me. <laughs> so uh, 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 they are uh, for a very long time in this program. They work already, but they come back to help us. And it's uh, very good to see that they are so, so bonded to sustainability. Uh, cost saving is the second uh, main reason. Um, you will see um, in details how much money we can uh, spare for the university. Uh, and we can focus on the uh, sustainable development uh, topic. Uh, fourth reason is uh, community building, creating uh, little micro uh, uh, communities is a very good tool. And it's another level of uh, meeting people or uh, uh, trying to find um, uh, a common uh, interest. Uh, and the most important is the credits and the, uh, uh, the portfolio, um, what uh, students can uh, put in their CV. So um, they can uh, have three credits uh, when they do uh, 30 hours of uh, community work. Uh, and um, they have a certificate after uh, finishing uh, this volunteering. Uh, and with, with this uh, uh, certificate, they can apply for dormitory places uh, or when they have a, the, the diploma, uh, they can apply for a job. We have some uh, students who gained uh, uh, their first work because they, uh, they had an experience in sustainable development. When and where do we do? Um, in the formal education and research, so the first uh, type of uh, sustainable development, in official, if, in official schedule, they do it. And in uh, the grassroots initiative, uh, it's in everyone's free time but in a strongly tied system and uh, uh, nearly uh, every uh, unit. I have to say that it was before COVID-19. Uh, COVID uh, uh, made a little, um, um, let's say, uh, it, it was not good for the processes, uh, but uh, we hope that uh, uh, until September we can rebuild the system. And here you can see our logo. So you have to imagine like this, uh, institutional unit, uh, why you, for example, it can be a campus uh, or a dormitory or a library. And in every uh, um, institutional unit, we try to uh, fund uh, sustainability working groups. These sustainability working groups uh, are leaded by one, two, or even three coordinators. And all of these groups are leaded by sustainable development policies. So that is the hierarchy. Uh, and um, we, we try to keep it uh, low, as I told. Now you can see some photos about uh, several um, actions. For example, uh, uh, composting or uh, gathering uh, leaves uh, in the autumn or uh, um, putting uh, uh, the waste, rec recycled waste bins into dormitories or uh, putting bulbs uh, in the gardens. And I have to tell that it's not only uh, that we organize selective gathering, but uh, what we do ourselves and uh, we make it uh, 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 go away and we measure it. So it's a kind of um, a measuring system or a monitoring system that we have. What do we do as sustainable development? The most important is waste management and biodiversity, but also we have attitude formation or environmentally conscious university program, or we have, or we had, but we want to re-establish creative workshops. So what about waste management? It means composting, prevention, and recycling. 
and uh, we try to work in the waste hierarchy. It means that we don't use the, the FIPS, means uh, deposition, and we try to avoid uh, incarceration. Uh, it, it sometimes, we have to uh, do sometimes, but uh, we try to use recycling, reusing, and uh, prevention. And here you are, some photos that the volunteer uh, groups have done. So for example, the first is uh, organizing recycling at the science uh, uh, faculty. Uh, the, uh, uh, below, uh, it is a dormitory. Uh, at, and uh, you have to imagine that it, at every level of the dormitory, we have the same uh, gathering system. And these are the volunteers who collect. Uh, and uh, if it's too, um, let's say, um, uh, too dirty, uh, they try to select it. And after they measure, and uh, we make it take it away. Uh, third picture is uh, composting. Uh, fourth is uh, uh, gathering oil waste. We have some uh, campaigns uh, about uh, mm, uh, special. Um, Let's special uh, devices, and uh, we try to prevent by using uh, re glasses, the pohar. Um, it's a branded uh, uh, glass that we uh, made produce. Above, you can see one of our major uh, uh, project right now. This is uh, um, recycling furniture and electrical devices. So uh, you cannot imagine how, how many tons of uh, uh, furniture uh, uh, go away from Alta uh, in the last years. Um, and we, 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 uh, we uh, try to separate. If there is a furniture, we put uh, the, the, the wood, the, the metal, and the tissue uh, in, uh, in different uh, uh, pies and uh, um, we uh, recycle all that. Um, under, you can see uh, uh, psychological faculty. Last year we had a project. They had all types of furniture and devices and they made uh, disappear in a recycling uh, company. And uh, we focus on paper a lot. That's, that was confidential paper project last year. Uh, 2,000 folds of paper were recycled in uh, one room. So what else do we do? Uh, the second main uh, project is biodiversity. That means community gardening, gentle gardening, animal and plant protection. Um, I think you understand community gardening and animal plant uh, protection, but gentle gardening, what do I mean by that? For example, uh, some years uh, ago, it was not a point of view or a, or a, or a uh, policy to, to uh, take care about the trees. When you cut a tree, you have to cover it with a special uh, uh, glue or it's not a glue it's a it's a kind of a material that protects the tree now uh, we try to uh, focus to communicate with the with the with the companies to put these kind of uh, materials on the trees or for example uh, we try to avoid uh, grass cutting uh, so um, let's say um, we are half on this way, <laughs> but um, it's not easy, it's not easy. Uh, animal and plant protection, uh, we'll see the next slide. So the first is uh, leaf gathering. Second, you see the, the, the one of the groups at Nandor Feyervari dormitory, uh, some hedgehogs. Uh, so we have a hedgehog protection program, bird protection program and uh, bee uh, protection program. Um, and also at two places, um, ETA has got uh, 52 places. So at two places, we have fruit gardens. 
the, the third uh, main uh, area of sustainable development is attitude formation. And uh, this year, in 2021-22, uh, we try to, to focus mostly on this. So uh, it means organizing exhibitions, organizing sustainable development days, making films, pictures, campaigns, and offices on uh, sustainable development. Five little uh, uh, offices are about to be opened uh, from September, uh, mostly in dormitories. Here you are, you can see uh, some uh, of the previous programs. So uh, the first is uh, Telecom um, uh, Sustainability Day. We were invited. The, uh, then um, uh, an exhibition about waste. Uh, before COVID, we uh, visited lots of lots of uh, festivals, but uh, now it's uh, it's it's over for a for a little time. We hope that we can do it uh, later again. Um, Community building is uh, also important, as I told uh, you. And uh, downstairs, you can uh, down you can see a, um, a picture of a film we have done. We have a YouTube YouTube channel, um, and I I will put it in the chat if you are interested. And some sustainability days. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, gamification is very important. We have uh, nine ten uh, gamified uh, materials. Uh, it's not online, it's, uh, uh, it's um, physical when, when it's uh, used in a sustainability day or a festival. Okay, what else? Environmental Conscious University, it means pol policy making, uh, sustainability state of art. Uh, it was mentioned uh, uh, several times uh, during the summer university. Uh, and. Uh, as the offices um, that are about to be opened and auditions for sustainable development. Uh, so it means eco planning. Uh, a group of students can go uh, to a dormitory, to a campus, to an office of the university, and they do, they measure uh, how it is uh, um, sustainable. Let's say, how, how, what is the the level of greenness, uh, but I don't like this word green, but let's say um, how, how uh, environmentally conscious is the place. And after a, a two, three months of a period, they go back when uh, little changes have been done and they can measure again how, uh, what are the, the, the differences or what that place could do. It's based on the MS uh, uh, or GRI uh, measurement system, uh, but it's uh, especially for universities. And I think uh, you had some projects uh, uh, that are related to that, this kind of uh, auditions. So um, it's very, very, very interesting uh, uh, device how to make people more aware. Uh, and creative workshops. Um, fortunately, one year and a half, we cannot do uh, any of this type of uh, activity, but it means making exercise books, earrings, and upcycling, um, organizing creative events, and uh, branding of sustainability at the uh, at Utvershalor uh, and University, because uh, we have uh, now. Um, um, a, a website, a Facebook page, Instagram, and uh, we try to develop all these uh, tools of communications. Here you are. Uh, the first is a soap workshop, and second is exercise book workshop. Two types of exercise uh, uh, we do. The first is on pizza boxes. The second uh, is on floppies. Uh, and uh, also, uh, we do um, merited papir, it's called in Hungarian, uh, when you put uh, all uh, paper in, in water and you do uh, smashed paper, mesh, it's called, and uh, we do some uh, uh, cards with it. Uh, of course, 
uh, earrings and uh, and let's say uh, uh, rings and uh, kind of stuff we do also, but uh, we try to concentrate on uh, on uh, useful items. So that's why soap and exercise books uh, were uh, chosen. And uh, earrings are only for just to be more interesting. <laughs> Okay, I uh, promise you a SWOT analysis. I tell you what we uh, did like SWOT and uh, what, can, what you can um, uh, uh, find as uh, uh, strongness or, or, or opportunities or threats. So uh, what is uh, very strong uh, in this kind of uh, initiative is strong community and uh, SD results that can be very, very strong. Uh, weakness, financial issues and PR issues. Uh, opportunities, uh, it's a very, very good uh, possibility or opportunity uh, to uh, work together for institutional uh, departments and NGO cooperation. And uh, what is the biggest threat is all time organizing. So if you want to begin this kind of uh, way of operation or mode of operation, you have to count on uh, all time organizing. And that is not very easy. Uh, here are some, uh, how, many, how much time do I have? We're, we're close, we're a little bit over time, Victoria. But I, I, need, uh, two I don't minutes. want to rush you, uh, but I do want to leave some time for questions. So, yes. all okay. right. Uh, so I uh, will not uh, read the, the next PPT, just uh, uh, look at it. Uh, these are the results uh, between uh, 2008 and 2020. Uh, what is the most important um, and um, I'm the most, the, I'm the proudest of is the 50,000 uh, uh, working hours of uh, volunteers. And uh let's see the here here again some prizes uh, we have uh, as made estimated uh, uh, the value of the program and it's around uh, 1 million euros uh, and uh, we have a very very big uh, system of advantages so uh know how sustainable development know how by ngo for the institution and um, in application so that's why we have so many results. And uh, uh, 110,000 uh, uh, euros of spare each year for the university. Okay, here are some uh, links. I will uh, put it into the chat. And uh, I would like to show you uh, a little film. It, it, it's one minute if it, it can go. But my problem is that it's in PP, that's why I wanted to the PDF. <laughs> um, if I put it in uh, uh, the, the chat, uh, uh, Emmanuel can uh, make it. Uh... Yeah, I think Gaia can. Huh? Okay. Gaia? Oh my God. Oh, I'm lost. Wait a minute. I have put. Uh, can you see it? Oh, there it's coming. It's coming. There we go. Oh and uh, I see part of it. I don't see it. There we go. That's better. Oh. Oh. Is it okay? Yeah.
Great feature. Thank you very much. Uh, this just one more uh, sentence. Yeah. This scheme was about uh, um, to gather some money uh, on taxes because uh, one uh, percent of the taxes can go to NGOs, and that's why uh, that's how we try to gather some money. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. It's very, very innovative. And I think we're seeing another example of how each university is finding it, its own way to involve the community. Um, and here we, you know, we see very much the, the bottom up, which are volunteering. I was going to ask you, you know, how successful is your volunteering, but you, you answered us with your 50,000 uh, volunteering hours. So, so that, that, that's really great. Um, maybe I missed it, but why did you choose the NGO model? Uh, because it was a cost saving. Okay. Uh, we had, frankly, we had problems uh, with, the, with the operational uh, department and the, the, the cleaning ladies and the technical staff didn't want to uh, take care about that a lot. And uh, these days it, it, it works well. So, I mean, it works so well. It's, it's, it's run by uh, volunteers. Yeah, you 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 created a way of, of yes. doing it by by yeah, fantastic, fantastic example, and it gives us another example of and, and just to remind everyone, any questions for Victoria, please put them in the chat. Um, it gives us another example also of of an overlap between sustainability and civic engagement community engagement. And I think that's so powerful. It's, it's clear that there is great synergy between these areas. Um, and we're all uh, now very much more aware and involved and, 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 and want to be more community engaged. So this is a, you know, th through combining sustainability and community engagement, it's, it's, it's very powerful. Um, to add, um, our first goal was to put some uh selective bins at alta where there were no selective bins and now we we are uh, we have a huge uh, know-how system yeah so yeah. it took uh, 13 years yeah. well that's that's <laughs> worth it <laughs> and uh, for the university it's uh, very very good because uh, uh, 100,000 foreign per year uh, euros per year is a uh, is a huge mm. so it's in euros not in foreign sorry 